Moin. Moin. Ja. I'm Catherine and I'm still in bed with Adam Greenfield because we just did an interview because you've published a book. It's no. over there somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah. He, he published a book. He, I'm just going to link the interview in the corner and just read the book or whatever. But now yeah. we are going to talk about uh, serious, super serious stuff. Just realize that we can see the screen know, of the camera that in the... I haven't seen it before. That's so funny. But now we know that it's running because we can see the red light. Red light. Oh, that's so good. I've thought of everything. Absolutely. This is the perfect setup. I mean... Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I uh, should charge you. No. 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 You know, all my stuff got already stolen from me. Oh, we have a crowdfund running. Link link to crowdfunding in the in the corner. Um talking about different things. Talking about Jonathan Franzen's purity. Yeah. Good book. I liked it a lot. I I did also like it a lot, which I wouldn't have you know, considering that I disagree with almost anything in the book yeah it's astonishing that i like it so much i liked it that i like it that the julian assange character is kind of taken to task i i don't i don't like that that like i i just feel like very much that he's been kind of like can we talk about julian assange for a second like very much manipulated talk about julian assange I, I'm not sure if we're going to be on the same... Yeah? I th I think he's... I mean, we can always erase this. That's yeah. the wonders of everything. Uh, he's been a huge asset to, to the Russians, you know, in, in dumping all these files. I think he's an agent of helping Trump and, and the Russians kind of collude. You think? Yeah. And he's dating Pamela Anderson. He is? Yeah. Since well, then? I don't know. I did not know that. Yeah. So he's got bad taste in politics. But, like, do you think he did it on purpose? Like, do you think he purposefully supported the... I think I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a little... I yeah. don't believe in conspiracy theories, but I think he... Yes, I think he's, like, a Russian agent, basically. You do? Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm sort of not with you on okay. that, but... What, what were you going to say? Like, what were you going to no, say? Yeah, no, but what is a t completely different thing, because I'm, I feel like... Um, that's like one of my my points on the front. I feel that Franzen is sort of anti-leaking, anti-leaking, yeah. yeah, and I'm like totally pro-leaking, yeah. But but you know, leaking for the purpose of leaking and leaking for the purpose of informing the people us what's going on, and not leaking for you know for a purpose, right? So if if, if I mean if that would be true, I would hate it. Right. You know, if, if somebody purposefully leaks something to push people into to push a certain, a certain direction. political agenda. Yeah. Yeah. So that I would have But is that. anything, do you think anything doesn't have those political motivations? Do I you think people Snowden, are truly. I mean, Snowden just wanted the world to know what's, what's fucking happening. Yeah. No, I, I agree. So, yeah. And uh, also, what's, and also, what's her name? Uh, exactly. Um, Chelsea, Chelsea Manning. Yeah, Chelsea yeah. Manning. So, for me, those are completely heroes. And yeah. what they did was super yeah. good. Yeah. So, like, leaking in itself is a good thing. If you want to leak something, if you know something that's bad, you sh you should, you should, and and you and you you should um, figure out like how Snowden did it. Just look it up on the internet. It's on the internet. Don't don't do it like Chelsea Manning. Be clever. Do it like Snowden. He's still hiding out in Russia. Right? He is. Huh. But it, you know, it was a very high level leak. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you know, he. At least, I mean, it's it's shitty. He's still sitting somewhere there, and he can't go where where, where he wants to go. And where's Assange in like Ecuador or like? No, is he? Isn't he still in the? Yeah, in the British consulate somewhere. Consulate. He's and also I... wanted for like rape, isn't he? And yeah, but that's bullshit. Is it? That's Trumped bullshit. up charges. That's 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 bullshit. That's just to get him. Um, yeah, and I've read that maybe they now will actually deliver him to the to the Swedes, and then. That's he's where fucked. that's where he's wanted for criminal charges. Exactly, because there's this thing. Should we go on with? No, I feel you like know what's it's interesting. Getting, it's getting it's getting too far. But yeah, let's talk about that later. But the book is causing us to have this conversation. Absolutely, yeah. Because like the um, yeah, just uh, let's start with um, just quickly summarizing what the book is about. Okay, you got to jump in and help me. Yeah. Okay, so the book. It, the I mean, this was like after refreshing ourselves on Wikipedia this yes, morning because it's been a long time for both. Like we we agreed on doing this a came. day ago, yeah. So we we both haven't read the novel. She asked me what time. I did last night. I couldn't remember. Like God knows, I can't remember yeah. what I read three years ago. Exactly. The book is about a girl who woman. Sorry, who uh, it, yeah, she's like 
somewhere on the yeah, yeah. At, right out of college she's got a lot of debt she's living in this kind of like hippie socialist house in berkeley or oakland or something like that uh and she then what happens <laughs> this german woman yes comes and recruits her exactly for but, yeah, but, but recruit is a hard word at this point because we we, uh, we we try not to spoil it too much but she gets her to work gets her to be interested a... in a movement in the like in that's exactly what we've just been talking yes. about because this Ger this German guy has like a, like an equivalent to WikiLeaks going on which yeah. is called the Sunlight Project, Project something yeah. like that and she um, recruits her to work for the Sunlight Project and then there's a lot of like backstory where the the main characters there something may or may not have happened in Germany and there may have not have been a crime committed and it kind of how this crime follows them throughout. Uh, throughout the rest of their lives and what they do to protect themselves and uh and then some of these like newer relationships are actually relationships that is, have existed for a long time you know what franzen's amazing at is is creating a plot like that i could never do that i could never i mean it's so careful how it's plotted yeah. you know so that everything kind of relates back to something that you read before and the connections that are made and that's a the, special and skill. the writing the writing is just brilliant let's yeah. just say that, that's yeah. why i like the novel because the writing is brilliant and how he gets this did you like see that this is one of the questions i would have asked you later did you see any of those turning points or those like surprises did you see any of that coming no uh, no Me neither my Me wife is really neither. good at that like when we're watching movies or she's always knows like what the twist is going to be or who the person who did it i never have any idea yeah um, she yeah. always does and i think franzen did that really good in that novel yeah. because like up, up until the point where you know what's happened you you wouldn't have guessed yeah. that that's the i mean like one of the things maybe you know but the other stuff completely not yeah yeah. No, it's a great book. Um, like, um, what do you feel was it to you on a personal level? I think, I mean, going back to what we were talking about in the beginning, just kind of this idea of what's okay to say, you know, publicly and mm -hmm. what's not okay to say publicly and what, what are the motivations for saying yeah. it? And is there anything that's like truly altruistic and benign, you know, or is everything politically motivated to a certain degree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an interesting yeah. kind of... Which is also in the novel via this woman journalist who's doing a story about Andreas Wolf, the German yeah. uh, the German guy who has the Sunlight Project WikiLeaks thing yeah. going on. And yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Was there anything that annoyed you? I'm trying to think. Any of the plot lines you mean like I wasn't into maybe? Yeah, or like something particular that stood out to you nothing that you I were can, like. Nothing I can remember. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's my moment the moment i've been waiting for um like the mother of purity um oh yeah she's described as a very very neurotic person and she's vegan and i think that franzen used veganism as like one further characteristic to describe how neurotic she is yeah and i did not like that because mm, like vegan has doesn't have to do anything with being fucked up and neurotic and right. anything so i didn't like that right i agree and like that's why i'm calling you out because you have a vegan you have an anti-vegan joke in your book i do oh yes, yes i do you do yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you well do. i grew up i mean i grew up in i mean you can no you how, how you get out of this is you say but that's just how my character is i just use this to characterize my character because it's a joke that is character i, I have lived in southern california my yeah. whole life i've seen every Thing, like every new age yeah. like i feel like i've earned well maybe not i don't care do what makes you happy you know yeah. yeah 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 but so you know i feel like to me veganism because basically veganism is saying don't be cruel to to things yeah. to, to to living beings and i just don't see the i just don't see where that's funny uh you know that's that's that's, that's uh, like my point on making fun of veganism yeah. in general it's like i think you're not making fun of veganism like i think it's making fun of the some of the people and it's a generalization but the people who are vegan so not like the motivations for doing it because yeah. they're yeah but, but we like are, we are so many and we are so different yeah. i mean like there's a way to make fun of everyone i you know, know but, but don't don't use veganism it's a good it's a good thing let's lay off veganism yeah yeah who should yeah. we make fun of literally anything else <laughs> that doesn't hurt a specific person themselves all right okay you know, I stopped watch, watching The Big Bang Theory because I felt like The Big Bang, like at the point where I stopped watching The Big Bang Theory, it was like, 
only making bad jokes about like hurtful jokes about each other it was only about making fun of the other people and i didn't like it anymore i i feel like you should it's not yeah you can make fun oh my god we, we, we're getting why we went why down the rabbit we hole. went down the rabbit hole. <laughs> did you identify with any of the characters mm. like i mean there's this journalist guy yeah you know, no, hanging around I mean, and like in your novel like the main character is a journalist yeah so i felt I mean, maybe Pip, maybe the main character. Yeah. yeah, like kind of, I had a lot of student loans when I got out of college mm -hmm. and kind of trying to figure out what I could do with my life while also support, you know, just mm -hmm. being able to live and pay back these like loans that were kind of crushing me. And yeah, yeah. like I think she was pretty nimble and, you know, she kind of made it work for herself yeah. and she was, yeah. Yeah. And what I really liked about the novel, I mean, it's hard because she sort of has a fall down and, you know, she, the clue about her being called purity is because she has to make a decision at some point in yeah. the book to do something bad or not to do something bad and that was super super interesting yeah. to me i think and how he like had that go down and it's my i think it's my favorite of his books that i've read mind i like freedom too a lot yeah but yeah uh, yeah i think freedom might have been a four star read for me yeah. like if you don't know like goodreads does rate books from one to like zero one to five stars and yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a and first... I feel purity was a five star read for me. That was yeah, it was good. Yeah, I liked that a lot. Yeah. Um, getting back on it, I think we, we we've now established that you should read purity and mm -hmm. what it's about. Yeah. Basically, um, I always like to get some questions that are connected to the novel that have to do with you. Yeah. Um, and like what happens in the novel is that and this isn't a spoiler. Like the German guy, the Andreas Wolf guy. He used to live in Eastern Germany, and when the wall comes down, he's able to get some files out of the Stasi archives, and that's how he becomes famous, and that's how he becomes a leaker, basically. Yeah. And do you remember when the wall came down? Was this a thing in America? Yeah, it was a big thing. I mean, I think I was, what year, 91? You must have been 16. I, I did was, the math. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, well, like Bush was president, Bush Sr. or something. I remember it being a big deal, but I'd never been to Germany. I'd never been to a communist country. So, you know, for me, it, you know, when you're 16, like, unless it's right yeah. there in front of your fucking face, like, it doesn't mean anything to you. But, yeah, I remember the pictures. I'll always remember the pictures. Okay. And in Los Angeles, there's a, a, a little museum of architecture across the street from the L.A. County Museum of Art. And they have panels of the wall up. You can go see them. Oh, they Whole do? sections of the wall. Yeah. So I've seen At that. At the LACMA? Uh, right across the street from LACMA. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I think there's like a picture of... I guess I've been to the LACMA, but I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's across the street. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, pretty, I'm not sure if cool. I'll make it next time. I don't know. Like... Is there any part of the wall that's still up? Like, if you go there, can you tell there is a wall there? Or is it all... Oh, you don't, you don't live in Berlin. Yeah. I feel like there has to be. Yeah, there oh, can't I'm not be good all on those. Gone. I'm not good on those stuff. Yeah, just, you know, for remembrance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. But did you talk about it in school? Um. Yeah, I mean, I we probably talked about it more in college i was a political science major in college and okay. i was really interested in yeah, yeah. so yeah. but yeah. you know when it happened like the, like did the teachers go in and say oh what just happened in the world is i'm or... trying to remember no you know i was i, I mean to, i would i would probably i went to la that. public school i don't think uh, we didn't we didn't get it yeah 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 i don't and think so what, what i what i think is funny um is like i think there are some parallels between purity and your novel which be, way? Like, like Andreas Wolf, um, the leaking guy, is like sort of made out to be sort of a cultish person. She, yeah. He has like a weird following. Yeah. And like, there's a cult leader in your novel. Yeah. And then you have like um, purity and like in your novel, like the girls that are in the cult that yeah. are like described as, as you know, you're pure. Yeah. Pure, pure, pure girl. So, yeah. so the purity does yeah. sort of play a role yeah. in your novel, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, and there's this also sort of a skeleton in the closet thing, which for your correct character, I mean, yeah, the, the, your main character feels like he has a skeleton. In his, in yeah, his, he has a like, huge skeleton in his closet. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of alluded to throughout the novel and then yeah. you find out at the end. But yeah, yeah. and I mean, that's that, that's the same thing because like um, Andreas Wolf has a skeleton in his closet. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, yeah, like yesterday when I was like taking notes for purity, I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> It's kind of it's That's fun to have those things, you know. In the end, yeah, yeah. yeah I thought that was super interesting. Yeah, yeah. like it's um, 
would you describe Franzen as a role model? Um, I think he's a really great writer. I, I don't know about him in the, his personal life. I know that he's gotten a lot of criticism and um, for anti-feminism yeah, and like yeah. for being a douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I don't. I don't know. I don't I've, know that. I've, I've never got into it. I yeah. believe it. You know, people. The the people who told me. I believe them. Yeah. That those are informed feminists who would like if they tell me that he's a douchebag. I probably believe would believe that he's a douchebag. I know he's um, a bird watcher. I mean, that's got to be like, that, that's got to mean something, right? Like if if that's your maybe. Yeah. I don't know. And I feel like that he's an intellectual jerk off. I love that. I love that. Um, yeah. And you have some big words in your novel. I'm calling you out on that too. He's a wanker. I'm a wanker. No, 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 no. It's it's None just a, a few. It's it's no. Just a no, couple. You're not a wanker. It's yeah. just a couple. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Like I I I I, 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 didn't, I, 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 I didn't feel that you tried too 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 hard. No. Yeah. No. I'm. F it, it feels like you know I've um stumbled upon a reading of his by by accident because this bookstore here around the I corner. I never asked you how you got. How yeah. You, found you know. It. Um. I was at the bookstore and they had your book up and they said reading, so and I was like, out. okay. Free reading, nice. No, no, we came on like we came on purpose because we saw it like two days before oh, okay. the reading, and then we came on purpose. I think you were we the like, only person there who was who I didn't know. Before exactly, that. you know, like he he lives like around the corner yeah. of the bookstore, and yeah, like at some point because he was like, oh, and there's mm, and, and and you know this and you know this, and then we were like, is there any person in this room he doesn't know personally? No, it was a, it felt like it was my funeral a little bit. It was like <laughs> I should. will not get this many people out to see me again until I'm playing in a yeah, casket. Yeah. yeah. That's sort of, I don't know. No, it's, it's just what it is. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it is what it's, it is. It's what it is. Yeah. So, so yeah, that was funny. How did we get to this point? How, how did we, why did we end up here? Why, why are we talking about the books? We were how talking about, you were saying how you thought, oh, we were talking about friends and is he a role model? And I said, yes. I don't know. And we were talking about big words. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't know. So, no, that's exactly what I wanted to say. The point I wanted to say, like, I've seen him before. And, like, as I, you know, sort of got a tiny feeling of what you are as a person, then it didn't feel too weird to me because it felt like it's natural that you use those words. Yeah. I'm also that's the point 45. Like, I'm not really trying to impress anyone Ex anymore. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Just... It, 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 it actually did not feel like intellectual jerking yeah. off to me. It was Good. just, okay, those are big words that I don't know. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. It's it's good. It's good. read read the novel. Read read the novel. Read purity. I don't know which one should you read first. You should you should read you should definitely read Sarka. You should yeah. definitely read his novel first. You should definitely read yeah. it. And then and then do Franzen. I think we can absolutely close with that. Okay. I mean that's a nice conclusion. Feels good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Read Sarka. Read purity. And then read purity. And then call us. Exactly. And let us know what you think. Yeah. You can you know you can also do the easy thing and just put a comment down on, in the description like under the video like do a YouTube comment you know it's it's the yeah. least you could do it's the least you can do yeah. and I will make sure like whatever you comment I will sure um, Adam will know about it yeah yeah okay all right okay thank you so much for watching and bye bye goodbye. Moin, I'm Catherine and today I'm in bed with Adam Greenfield. Moin. 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 Who just published his first novel called Circle. And I've read it. I liked it. You should read it too. My first question to you is the question I ask always. What happened last night?